I think there's several things that an HIV infected person can do to avoid the risk of cancer, various kinds of cancer, and to live longer, and to avoid actually dying of cancer. The most important of those is smoking. Uh, for reasons that I don't really understand, the literature says that HIV infected people are more likely to smoke than other members of the population and that has had tremendous consequences. There is a clear epidemic of lung cancer, an increase in lung cancer among HIV-infected people. And at the beginning, we were believing that that was due to HIV in some sense. Uh, that's really controversial. What does seem to be occurring is smoking, and smoking cigarettes in the setting of perhaps immune suppression due to HIV or chronic inflammation due to all of the other infections and so forth. So smoking is clearly associated with lung cancer. It's also associated with head and neck cancer. It's associated with bladder cancer. It's associated with pancreas cancer. It's also associated with heart disease, lung disease, and so forth. So by stopping smoking, uh, a tremendous advantage can accrue, uh, which will really help as far as length of survival and quality of life. Uh, another important aspect that's coming up recently is an epidemic of anal cancer uh, in the United States. This is occurring in HIV-infected people, but it's also occurring in HIV-negative people. Uh, anal cancer is caused by a virus. It's caused by HPV, or human papillomavirus. That is the same virus that causes cervical cancer in women, and cervical cancer used to be the greatest killer, cancer killer of women in the world, and certainly in the United States. We started pap screen testing, and the pap smear was able to predict that somebody had a precancerous lesion in the cervix. And if you treated it at that precancer level, you could prevent the development of cervical cancer. What's happening now is that the same virus has a field effect. It can infect the cervical region, the anal region, uh, the vaginal region, vulva region, so that whole area and HIV-infected or HIV-uninfected women are more likely to have HPV identified in the anal region than in the cervical region. Men who have sex with men are at high risk for HPV in the anal region, and uh, both of those populations are at risk for anal cancer. So one of the things that is changing now is a paradigm for testing and screening HIV-infected people, both men and women, for anal HPV and for early lesions of precancer of the anus. That's something else that could be done by an HIV-infected person asking for anal screening to prevent uh, anal cancer in the future.